The Samsung Galaxy S4 Active is actively drowning lately. Verizon leaks talk about an HTC One and a Moto X, and everything points to the next iPad Mini without a Retina display. I'm Jaime Rivera, and can somebody please explain to Apple why the iPad Mini doesn't sell that well? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about those product releases that I wish I didn't have to mention because for those of you that were waiting to get Microsoft Office on your Android device, well, it just got released. But as with everything Microsoft, there's always a catch since if you don't have an Office 365 account, which you have to pay for, sadly, the application is kind of useless. There's a 30 day trial and that is just about it. Uh, anyways. And you know, iOS 7 Beta 4 keeps bringing more information on Apple's future product lineup and one of the products that we're waiting for the most is the next generation iPad Mini, but you're not going to like the news as, well apparently there are going to be three models of the iPad Mini again just like now, and sadly, they will be limited to a non-retina display. According to the leaks, there is no high resolution display on this tablet, and then you get to wonder what is Apple thinking, I mean, that's pretty much the only reason why nobody's liking the Mini. Now we've got some Verizon leaks that I know a lot of you are waiting for. First of all, those of you looking forward to an HTC One on Big Red, well, August 15th is apparently the launch date. And then for those of you waiting for the Moto X or the Droid Ultra lineup, apparently that is happening on the week of the 20th. Obviously these are just reports, nothing confirmed. Stay tuned and hopefully it happens that way. And speaking of the Moto X, we've got the first leaked photographs of their magical display as it's being dubbed, which is supposed to wrap around the phone in a way that's completely unique. But don't let me bore you with the Moto X news. 4.30 p.m. tomorrow. Remember, stay tuned for our Pocket Now Live Roundtable, where we're going to be talking about this phone after Michael Fisher leaves the event and has some hands-on experience with the phone. Hopefully, we will have a review unit right there, and you can ask us all the questions that you want. So again, stay tuned. 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And finally, for the sad news of the day, apparently a lot of customers are having problems with their Galaxy S4 Active. As it turns out, their phones are drowning and dying, and if you watch Michael Fisher's review, there are some specific features and specific procedures that you have to follow in order for the phone to really become waterproof. Which is kind of an irony because apparently if you don't follow these procedures, which AT&T cannot verify or Samsung, the warranty does not cover the phone being waterproof, which is an irony. I mean, why are you going to sell me a phone that's waterproof if you're not going to cover that specific feature on the warranty? So that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that's fair? Do you think it's fair for a company to sell you a ruggedized waterproof phone and then not cover every single one of its features on the warranty. In my particular case, there's no point of being for this ruggedized product if the company is not gonna, you know, walk the talk with their product. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.